Hello everyone, it is Artistic Sunrise here coming back at you with another video and today I am so excited to be filming this video and I am just super excited because today I am final I finally am out of middle school. I have to say middle school was a really fun slash rough time with me. I had amazing parts and then I had rough times where my friends really came in handy and I found out who my true friends were and yeah I just I had a huge time in middle school and um so I'm going on to ninth grade next year can you believe it I am excited but then again Huh, I am just astonished. And I got a high honor award, a high honor awards for getting a 3.96 GPA, 1B plus, but you know, I did really work hard for those grades, so I really suggest you to work hard in school too. And let's get right on to the video. So, I, looking back, I wish I had read more, but in 6th grade and 7th grade, too, I just wasn't a huge reader. In 6th grade, I read three books total, um, because that was my requirement, because we have the point system at our school, and that that's all I needed for my points, and I was just... But, um, but in seventh grade, I started picking up more books, and yeah, so seventh grade is where I started getting into books, and then eighth grade, it just, I just kept picking up book after book after book after book, and eventually, I've read 20 books this year. So, um, let's get right on to the video. So the top one that I have to mention and this book series oh my goodness I am a sucker for any dystopian series I have read the hung I have read the first book in the Hunger Games series and oh my goodness I loved that I need to pick up the second book so badly I have read all the books in the selection series and I have been meaning to pick up the Divergent series but I am a sucker when it comes to anything dystopian and I will pick up almost anything dystopian and um so this was actually my second dystopian series my first one was the selection series and this one my mom suggested to me and I really enjoyed it and that is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. So, I went into this knowing that my mom enjoyed it and that she recommended it to me. So, I knew it was about, I knew the basics of it, but um, I was blown away by how good this book series was. And if you've read the first book and you were like, uh, it's okay, I really recommend going on with this series and it just gets better and better and better as it goes. The second book is by far my favorite because of reasons I cannot say for spoilers, but oh my gosh, I cried so much. Much. It is bringing up tears to my eyes right now, so I am gonna change the topic. But um, but so this book series is about a girl named Ruby, and she wakes up one day with a massive headache, and um, come to find out that her parents don't know who she is, so that's a huge problem. But come, but she later finds out that she has an ability, and this ability came from a 
virus that went around and wiped out almost half the kids in the United States. And the rest of the kids remaining have a series of abilities. And there's a ranking from every ability. Like green, you're really smart. Uh, blue, you have telepathic you can make things float. <laughs> I can't, it can't come to mind right now. Yellow, you can control electricity. Red, you can control fire. And then orange, you can uh, control the human's mind. So Ruby finds out that she is an orange and she is trying to get out of the camp because She's been hiding there, and uh, it's just about once she gets out, and her story about when she gets out. This was made into a movie, and I will say that they did a decent job on the movie adaptation, but I still prefer the book way more. The book has way more details, and the movie took out one of my favorite favorite parts oh and one of my most heartbreaking parts but so I really suggest this series and this is by far my favorite series ever I need to reread this series and I really want to so that I can read the darkest legacies so that I can actually say that I've finished all five books in this series but I just haven't gotten the chance, and I've been reading so many other books, and I am just everywhere right now. But time to get on to the next books, because I do not want this video being, like, way too long. Uh, so another book from 7th grade is The Siren by Kira Cass, and... This book is about a siren, and she is, like, she's a daughter of the sea, like all sirens are, and she is, like, 25 years, I think, into her servants to the sea, and she ends up falling in love with a mortal boy. Now, she cannot speak to him or else he will drown himself, but um, she falls in love with him and she doesn't know what to do or how to figure out, figure out what to do. And it's just all about, like, her experience and what happens, what she does. And I really recommend this book if you're looking for, like, a little light-hearted read but then again, has a bunch of emotions to it, and I can't really s describe it, but I really recommend this book. It is an amazing, amazing book, and I just, this is not my favorite book by Kira Cass, but it is pretty close, so I really recommend that book by her if you're looking for a kind of mythology retelling kind of thing. I don't know. If you're looking for a lighthearted love story that is by far really recommended. And the next book I have is another love story. I know, very cheesy, but you know, I can't help myself. I love this book so much, and I just, I can't help myself from crying during this book. I cried for like the last hundred pages in that epilogue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this book is Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott, and... Nikki Daughtre and Tobias Lacunas. I am sorry for ruining those names, 
but I'm not good with names. But this book, oh my goodness, I really recommend this book. It it brings out so much awareness for uh I can never remember the name of it. Hello. Uh it it I don't know what the name of the thing is, but it's where your lungs have mucus in them because your body creates so much mucus that it seeps into your lungs and it can be a very deadly disease, but it brings out so much recognition for that and I'm so grateful that I read this book because it makes me just more aware of the kids that have this disease. And I just am so happy that I read this. I did read this after watching the movie, but I really prefer the book over the movie, like most people would. Um, it's just, in the book, you get to listen to all their thoughts and how they're, what they're doing to think it, it through, and their actual thoughts of falling in love. So... I really suggest this book if you're looking for a good cry book because this book will make you cry it, for most people it will make you cry if you're me it made me sob almost I was I I had read the last hundred pages of it in my room in like two hours because I knew I did not read it at school because I knew I was gonna break down and cry. I almost broke down and cried at school while reading this though because and this was after a math test and oh my gosh I was just sitting there in math like this the whole entire time. I my eyes were turning red. I was getting water eyes and my best friend was one of my best friends were sitting right next to me and I was like what am I and luckily one of my like I said one of my best friends were there and they calmed me down because oh my gosh I was about to just say Bye, I need a bathroom break. I need to just let all these feelings out. Then I finished it that night, and I am so glad. So, I really recommend this book, and yeah. Um, I recommend all these books, and um, that's why they're on here. And on my favorite book list. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. But the next book is my favorite in the series that I've read so far. Um, I still have the last book to read, but I'm getting on that. It was on my June Hope to Read series, and that is the Heroes of Olympus series. Um, and my favorite book in the series is The House of Hades. This is by far the thickest one. I think it's just over 600 pages. I want to say it's probably over 600 pages. It also has bonus stories in the back. Oh, no. It's just under 600 pages. It is a total of 597 pages. But it was worth every page of this. I read this book in, I think, like three days. And I am so happy I read this. And oh my gosh, this book made me cry. I am, I love books that make me cry. If they are cry worthy books, if they are cry worthy books, they are five star ratings. So, let that be told. If I give a book a five star, that means it made me cry. So, but this series is about, is a spin-off of the Percy Jackson series, and, um, 
And in this series, you follow, not only do you follow Greek mythology, but he also, Rick Riordan also mixes in some Roman mythology in there too, which I think these stories are so interesting and just excel all my expectations every single time. And so I just have not been mentally prepared for what's going to happen in the Blood of Olympus, which I think is why I've been holding off so, so long. But I am going to break down and actually read the Blood of Olympus here soon, hopefully, maybe, because I am getting into a contemporary mood. So, maybe. I don't know. I hope I can, though. So... Oh boy, we are on to the last two. So, um, the next one, the next one my aunt actually suggested to me, and she actually got it for me for my birthday, which I am so, so thankful that she did, because I absolutely fell in love with the characters in this book, and fell in love with the book and story itself, and this is Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. Uh, in this book, you follow a girl named Melody, and she has a photographic memory, but she has disabilities, and she can't move. She is paralyzed. She can move her fingers enough to uh, speak words with her board with her word board but other than that she is completely paralyzed and she cannot speak but she is one of the smartest people that you will ever know and she needs and she tries to find a way to voice what she knows and make everyone see her for who she truly is in this book and this is just the story of how people treat her in the beginning and how they try and how they eventually respect her and try to live up to her expectations. So I really recommend this book. This was a very lighthearted book, but I loved it so much. I loved this just the concept behind it in general because I just found this book so inspirational and just it was very it was very, very, very just relatable, kind of, because I have some people that will look down on me and say, oh, you can't do that because of reasons that I've learned that people will sometimes feel bad for me. I'm not getting into that. Nope, never mind. Uh, but, no, I really recommend this book. If you ever need a lighthearted read and a quick read, because this book, I think, is just under 300 pages. It is 292 pages. And this book is amazing. And 5 out of 5 stars for me. All the way. And then... The next book, oh my goodness, my favorite contemporary read by far, OMG, sorry, but I am like praising this author right now because this book was so, 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 that's a lot of so's so good and I know I'm building up a very big hype right now but trust me when I say that this book is very 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 good in my opinion so this book is One Pair of Summer by Denise Grover Snake Swank I can never pronounce that last name but this book in this book, we follow a girl named Sophie, and 
she is being forced to move to France with her father because her parents divorced and she is being forced to move there for the summer because her dad is getting married to her stepmother now and she is very good at piano and she needs to practice for her audition to one of the biggest piano music schools in America and um she doesn't really have any piano to play with and um one of her stepsister's friends sees her talent and he invite invites her to play his piano at his house because his mother is a teacher at a very very famous school in France and uh, it's just about their story and how they fall how their relationship builds up and then goes down and then builds up again and some of those things that the stepsister does to Sophie just mm. but by far one of my favorite contemporary reads ever and I really recommend this read if you're looking for a very quick read because I did read this in like two days and I am very surprised because it is like 350 pages and it's pretty small text but um I very much I very 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 much recommend this book because it is just a wonderful book and yeah but those are all of my favorite books my six my six favorite books one series but those are my favorite books in middle school that I read and I am super excited to be going into high school. Hopefully it's not anything like I've imagined it because I don't know. I'm nervous but also very excited. And yeah. I don't know. Um but that is it for this video everyone and I am wearing my funny nerd shirt which I love but that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have been reading a bunch and I hopefully will have an art video out soon I know I have been doing a lot of books it's just easier for me to come up with book ideas rather than art ideas so I swear that this is not an all book channel I swear I will get, I will, I promise that I will get an art video up here soon, but I cannot promise anything super soon because I really, really, really need to film a, uh, a recent reads video because I have like 16 books on that and um, I'm getting kind of scared. Maybe I should just narrow it down to physical books rather than have all the... No, no, no. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud right now. But that is it for this video, everyone. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I will see you soon with my next video. Bye.